Hi you guys, it's your girl Natalie, the one true diamond coming at you guys with morning chit chat. Good morning, good morning, good morning. Um, it's Wednesday, which is hump day. And I'm out early and not for couponing. <laughs> we got a meeting on the job. We got to be there at 7 o'clock. I'm going to be a little late because it's 647. But if the traffic get out of my way, and hopefully there's no traffic out at this time of the morning, which you know it is because people are commuting to work. Some people, look, real people have to be to work <laughs> at 8 o'clock. Some even before then. I can't help it that my job starts at 930. So, you know. But anyway, I'm hoping there's less traffic on the road. So I can swing into the parking lot and make a mad dash up, okay? I got up at 5 o'clock this morning and not making up excuses, but I did work out, believe it or not, after I sat on the toilet, TMI, I know, scroll Instagram. Who else sits on the toilet and scrolls Instagram? I, I'm like, did I miss something overnight? Was it a glitch overnight? Do I? <laughs> it's pitiful. So as I'm sitting there, I'm scrolling IG to see what's been going on and I'm trying to talk myself into going on and work out and something said no don't work out because you're going to be late you need to go head on and get your stuff together and blah 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 and then finally I said get up off of here quit making up excuses and go get your workout clothes on and go work out and that's what I did I got up and I done my three mile walk um, I did Walking Away the Pounds with Leslie Sampson. I love that three mile walk video because it's not bad on my back. And you know, y'all know I have herniated disc. Um, and then the pain and the numbness radiates down my left thigh all the way down to my feet. So, I, and I'm saying all of that just to say this is that there should not be any excuses unless you have severe, severe, severe injuries and even people who I see who have severe 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 injuries they still find a way to work out and do some things so really we shouldn't make any excuses there should be something at our level that we can do um yeah I even seen this lady she gave me a video um of helping the elderly who have diabetes do exercises and it was chair exercises exercises from sitting down and they were doing it you know I told her that it was a little bit too slow paced for me because I think I was more of a higher functioning than that. And she said, well, I wanted to get your honest opinion. This was when I was going to the um, the weight, the nurse the, um, that for weight loss on our job. I was doing that program at one point. And she gave me that and she introduced me, which I knew Leslie because my sister had given me some back in the VHS days, workout videos of walking away the pounds with Leslie. But I wasn't motivated. I felt like I was heavy. I was out of breath. It was terrible. But then, you know, it's just that I did not push or have enough motivation to push forward with it. But you got to start somewhere and you got to quit making excuses as to why I need to get my eyebrows done. I'm sorry. And you need to quit. <laughs> Y'all know me and you know I'm going to do something like that. Okay. You need to quit making excuses as to why um, you can't do it and start thinking of reasons why you can do it. You know, and once you get started, it's not as bad. See, I will tell myself and try to talk myself out of it. But once I get started, your adrenaline starts to pump it and you really feel good after a workout knowing that you did it that you accomplished it you stuck with it and you've done it you really do you get that adrenaline rush and you feel like you can go on and work out some more that's the honest to god truth for me you know i know some people say yeah you're crazy you know but that's because you haven't got your mindset into the frame of i'm doing this for me for a healthier me if i work out if i exercise then i'm going to see results as soon as you see get yourself into that mindset then you can go forward with exercises you know and you know I know that's the hardest thing in the world to do and I used to be to the point where I didn't want to exercise in front of people I was embarrassed but there's things you can do right at home there's home workout on IG there's this girl called Miss it's fit girl it's fit girl she's doing a weight loss boot camp but it's already started so I don't think you can join it now but she was given like um, diet plans and she showed motivational pictures. She um, 
and she even do brief like little um, exercises that you do at home she even show you how to work out as if you have weights without weights using water bottles and stuff I mean she she's she's good and I mean she gives you no reason for excuse yeah and I didn't join it because I'm like okay I already know what I need to be eating and my eating plan is gonna be a little bit different from other people because of my gastro bypass so I really didn't join it but it would have been something great for somebody who just don't know where to start at or don't know you know what or how to do or what they should do I think because she tells her personal story and you know she was a plus size girl and now when you look at her she looks good she looks very good and she's still going on and training and toning and everything and then she encourages you but anyway if you have IG check out Fit Girl I think that's her name Fit Girl and her line, she has a website or a blog site, Fit Girl, Fit Girl Army, I think is what it is, where I think she um, sells clothing line and stuff like that. But anyway, um, very motivational. So, you know, we have to stop making up excuses, you know, and that's what I said to myself. I was proud of myself for getting up at 5.15 and going on to work out at 5.15 because I'm telling you, it was like a struggle. But I did it. And, you know, I said, if I can do it with my knees hurting, my hips hurting, my shoulder, and I still push through the pain, we sometimes we got to learn to push through the pain and find activities that are right at our level. But saying all this, say that Leslie's videos are not all that, um, I mean, they're good workouts, don't get me wrong, but they're not like a Shanti or uh, P90X and you know all that jumping and moving she does basic steps which is like leg kicks um, knee bend backs I guess that's what y'all can't even think I watch do it every day and can't even think kickbacks knee lifts and, and, and just walking basically is what she's doing is teaching you to walk get your heart rate up during some of them she, we're walking to the hits is what the one that I have and it's high intensity um, training or yeah high intensity training is like where you do a brief few seconds of fast get your heart rate, heart rate up and then you know you cool down for a certain amount of minutes and then you get your heart rate back up that's kind of what she does for a bit but yeah so um yeah, so if you're looking for somewhere or something to start or don't know how to start, those are very good workouts. And like I said, it's not going to, um, it won't kill you, okay? Um, as far as hurting your back or causing more injury to your back. So you should try those out, okay? But anyway, just want to give somebody a little motivation. Somebody who might feel like they're stuck in what they're doing. And, you know, sometimes we want to... Um, feel ourselves losing like I want to lose five pounds every week <laughs> knowing that that's you know it's not saying it's not possible because you can but we know that a healthy weight loss is what they all document and say is two pounds a week okay um, but if I lose like last week I lost one pound I was happy that was still a victory to me that I did not gain because I was not on my game I was not top of my game I was just you know, I done, it's like, let me tell y'all how I do. And I sabotage myself in the afternoons, which I need to find a plan to get better with that. In the mornings, I'm on it, I'm good. Breakfast, I'm good. Workout, I get my water in. Breakfast, I eat my boiled eggs. Good, good, good. Don't snack. I put a piece of cinnamon in my mouth because, you know, we're talking to patients. Cinnamon or gum. You know, because when I'm talking to people, you know, I want my breath to be the freshest it can be because we're talking to people all day. We're in people's face. So that's in my mouth during the day. I go to lunch sometimes 12, 1230, whichever one she decides to assign me to. And I have already prepared my lunch and I try to eat the healthiest lunch. Very seldom do I stray away from the lunch that I pack, which is a healthier choice. Now, sometimes I will say, forget this, I'm going to get something I don't want it. But majority of the time, because when you only have 30 minutes, you need to stick to what you have bought because not your time will be over with. You'll be rushing, you won't get to finish eating. I know I won't because I know I eat kind of slow. So, yeah. So, anyway, so I stick with that. But 
the afternoons come. And I guess that's the time where I need to really pump up my water because I'm not getting the rest of my water in for the day. You know, it's like I'm only getting like six cups of water in a day. And I know I need to get at least.